Hello everybody, I'm going to show you probably my favorite bleed build in the entire game. With this build, not only will you do massive damage, but you will leave your opponent staggering every 1-2 to two attacks, leaving them wide open to destroy. This build will make end game bosses look like early game bosses, with the chunks of damage you will be doing. Not even the mighty Elden Beast will be able to stand a chance against this monstrosity of a weapon. The items you will need are a weapon with the War Cry Ash of War in your right hand, Note that in my build, I use the Highland Axe, which has the War Cry built in already. You could use any weapon you want, as long as the Ash of War is on it. But, the Highland Axe is special because it gives an invisible 7.5% damage boost to Roar spells, which is exactly what we will be using. Now in your left hand, you will use the Bloody Helis, and the higher it is upgraded, the more damage you will do. Now, in this video, I use a Bloody Helis plus 10. Note that it has to be in your left hand for this to work. For our helmet slot, we have the Silver Tear Mask, which gives us a plus 8 Arcane Boost. The Bloody Helis scales mostly with Arcane, so we want majority of our stat points in that. Now the thing that makes this build so overpowered is the Talismans, so listen carefully. Our first Talisman is the Ritual Sword Talisman, which increases our damage when our health is maximum. Our second Talisman is the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, which you can get from Millicent's questline. This increases our damage on each consecutive attack that we deal. Since our weapon can hit up to 5 times in one attack, this talisman is godsend for this build. You can also use Millicent's prosthesis if you have that, but the reason why I'm not using both is because you can't get both of them in one playthrough. However, if you are in New Game Plus, and if you have both of them, then feel free to replace the Ritual Sword Talisman with the other one, and your damage will be insane. For the next talisman, we have the Roar Medallion. Since we will be using War Cry, this talisman will give us a 15% damage boost on each of our attacks. And this one is pretty easy to get as well. And for the last talisman, we have the Axe Talisman, which will give us a 10% damage boost to charge attacks. But that's not all. The talismans are great, but what really packs the greatest punch is your Physic. There's three choices, and two of which you're going to choose between depending on the boss or scenario. The main tier you'll need is the Thorny Crack tier. This one is very important as it's going to stack damage the same exact way as the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia Talisman we have. The other two tiers you can choose between are the Spiked Crack tier and the Stone Barb Crack tier. The Stone Barb Crack tier is great to stun bosses, and the Spiked tier is amazing for general gameplay. And lastly, this one is optional, but you can use a Blood Boil Aromatic for 30% damage for 30 seconds. Or you can use Flame Grant Me Strength for 20% for 30 seconds. Now you're probably wondering how I'm doing the attack and that's a valid question. This is a move swap glitch which lets you use your charge attack from the War Cry on the Bloody Healers. So let's go into how to do it. First, you're going to start with War Cry in your right hand and Bloody Healers in your left hand. Make sure you are dual wielding, otherwise it will not work. Now, while you dual wield, you're going to cast War Cry and then you two hand the Bloody Healers on your left hand. Now while you are two-handing the Bloody Helis, you're going to hold the charge attack button and that will do the attack. Make sure your character is standing still whenever you hold it, otherwise it will not work. After 20 seconds, Warcry will run out and you will have to use Warcry again to reactivate the move swap. If you are having trouble doing this, feel free to leave your question in the comment and I will be happy to help you guys. For the Highland Axe, head to Stormville Castle Lipside Chamber and then follow this path. There might be some enemies that attack you along the way, but just ignore them and then run past them. You'll want to enter this building and then keep going straight. Once you're here, you'll find the axe sitting on a corpse. For the Bloody Helis, head to Right Blood Ruins in Altus Plateau and defeat the boss under the stairs. Once you beat him, the weapon will be in the chest behind the door. For the Silver Tear Mask, you're going to have to defeat the Mimic Tear after defeating Radon. You really can't miss this, so just keep following the quest until you get to this area. For the Ritual Sword Talisman, you're going to head to Altus Plateau and follow the path to Lux Ruins. After that, you're going to defeat the boss and open the chest behind it. For the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, or Millicent's Prosthesis, you're going to head to Millicent and Kaelid and complete her questline. At the end of the questline, you will have two options, and the option you choose will affect the talisman which you will get. I will link a really good quest guide in the video description. For the Roar Medallion, you're going to head to Limgrave Tunnels and then kill the Stone Digger Troll boss at the end of the caves. 
for the Axe Talisman, head to Mistwood Ruins in the Forest of Limgrave. Behind the Sleeping Bear is a staircase you can follow to a chest holding the talisman. You can get the Thorny Crack tier from the Erd Tree Avatar and Consecrated Snowfields. You can unlock this area after obtaining both the Halic Tree Seeker medallions. For the Stone Barb Crack tier, you're going to head to the Minor Erd Tree in Kaled and defeat the Erd Tree Avatar there. And finally, for the Spiked Crack tier, you're going to head to the Minor Erd Tree in Limgrave and you'll find it sitting in a small pot near the tree. Here's my stats for the video. To maximize your damage output, you will put in majority of your stat points in Arcane. 72 Arcane to be specific, because that's where you're going to start getting diminished returns from your damage. You can put the rest of your stat points spread between Strength, Dexterity, and Vigor, as well as Faith if you want Flame Grant Me Strength and Golden Val. You don't need Mind, Endurance, and Intelligence. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.